All in Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moons, welcome to your 2021 Sun Mood Reading. If this resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email. We can go ahead and set that up. When you view this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. And you might want to check out your 2020 Sun Moon Readings that are in my playlist to see if they rang true for you. I'm doing these in the, or I did these in the order of requests. You guys are actually, I think, number 142 out of 144. First portion of this reading, we'll go over the traits of your sun-moon combination and take a quick look at your 2021. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I'll be pulling a clarifiers for a deeper interpretation of the cards. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. Also, check out my playlist for what is your ideal career based on your midheaven sign and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign. Um, and then also my weeklies and my monthlies and all that good stuff that's in there. Ask me a question on Instant Code. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's go over the traits of your sun-moon combination. Capricorn sun, Capricorn moons, you're built for all the accomplishments and success that life has to offer. You will do so with your sure and steady manner, planning and organization. Keeping things to yourself, you are kind yet cool. You are conventional, resolute, and moralistic, but can also be a control freak, chilly, and manipulative. Working towards a more compassionate nature will serve you well. In relationships, you don't tend to be the most affectionate, but do take care of people and are responsible. Your partner can sometimes seem slighted because of the hours you put into your work. You're the one to provide in your relationship, but the trade-off is that your partner needs to support your workaholic ways. Your perfect mate is someone who doesn't need constant praise and a deep emotional connection. In career, you need to climb the ladder of success and do well at everything. No one knows better how to do this than you. You make sure to test things cautiously before carrying them out. Achievements will never be boasted by you and you humbly work behind the scenes. Status and power is what drives you in your profession. So let's see what's going on for your 2021. Holy Spirit Angels, I got to do Can you please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moons for the year 2021. What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and come closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages, please? Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moons for the year 2021. Thank you. What do you see for January, February, March for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moons, please? January, February, March, we have the Empress card in reversed. April, May, June. April, May, June, we have the Emperor card in the upright. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Um, July, August, September, we have the Nine of Wands in the upright. And October, November, December, we have, what do we have? October, November, December, we have the Five of Cups in the upright. All right, so this is kind of interesting. I feel like in January, February, March, there's some sort of environment that you're in, and it's it's a mess, okay? Um, it's really disorganized. Usually when it's the Emperor's card, it, it has to pertain to the home. So everything's really disruptive. It's out of its place. People are uncomfortable. Um, it, it's just not a good environment, period. Um, now, I'm feeling as though you are interjecting yourself into this, okay? I, I don't know if you are directly involved with it, but I do feel like you're deciding to kind of like rush in and and kind of decide um or, or kind of like telling people what to do or and and trying to resolve this situation it might be a little bit overly so because the emperor's card in reverse can be someone who is really smothering is really all about somebody you know uh, is up in somebody's business um you know in that regard but so i feel like you're trying really hard to restore this but i don't feel like it's your place for some reason um and I'm not saying that in a bad way, but I, I, I know you guys, you know, you see something and you want to like go in and fix it. Um, now, here's this emperor guy, okay? And, and that's in April, May, June. And I feel like this is whose house it is, so to speak. So this is a boss or this is, you know, um, you know, a patriarch of a family or what have you. And I feel like this person's like, butt out, I can handle it. Um, I mean, I, and that's also the card of Aries, if that resonates for some of you, but I feel like this person does not care for your interference. Okay. Um, and they're almost like, listen, this is how I run things. These are my rules. Um, this, this has worked for me and it always has. 
um, you know, I appreciate you, you know, having an opinion or wanting to help, but, you know, butt out, basically, is what I'm kind of getting from that. And then I see the Nine of Wands here in um, July, August, September, and you being very wary of this person. So um, I feel like this person has power, influence, or something like that, and they can really kind of screw things up for you if they want to. Um, I don't know if you offended them or what have you, but I see you kind of putting up, you know, um, just, just being careful about what they're going to do and how they're going to move forward and their actions, because I don't feel that whatever you did, they were very favorable to it. And you're concerned about a backlash or them um, hurting you in some way. So you're just kind of being protective. Um, but I feel like something does happen on October, November, December, because we have the Five of Cups in the upright. So this is experiencing some kind of loss. So this could be a situation where you got the boss angry or something like that, or a manager, and then you end up losing your job as a result. Um, it could be a loss of any type um, in regards to a relationship or anything like that. It can also be the loss of an actual person. Um, and your emotions are just, you're deeply sorrowful and, and you're bereaving that person. Um, it can also be, you know, the... A, a loss because of um, a rejection, a loss of because you have to go separate ways with somebody. So I see something going on and I feel like what happened in the beginning of the year was the actual catalyst for it. So, I mean, not the best news, but I can't have the best news in every reading. Um, if you feel that this resonates, consider a personal reading and we can do one. Just send me an email. Otherwise, go check out my playlist. Um, oh, sorry. Click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be pulling these clarifiers on these cards for a deeper interpretation. Check out my playlist for your 20 20 sun moon readings also what is your ideal career based on your midheaven and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign ask me a question on insta go check me out on facebook instagram and tiktok like share subscribe and or donate otherwise i'll see you in the vimeo reading adios